some of the big obvious challenges that we face across the globe and as a society today uh, are around climate change, around energy security and that's certainly a very big focus for us. I think fundamentally we uh, within the energy sector have one of the most important jobs on the planet uh, and that's securing low carbon energy for future generations. How do we stimulate that supply and how do we really engage with people to understand what does a, what does a STEM career mean, what does an engineering uh, career represent? 20% of careers advisors don't believe STEM careers are attractive for young people and don't recommend them. This is a challenge that we have as an industry to really tell this story a lot better than we are at the moment. As a global company of over 80,000 people, we see STEM graduates as critical to the success of our business both now and in the future. So we compete with banks and consulting firms and media and technology companies. But unlike many of those businesses, we actually need the STEM skills we bring in. A quarter of turnover from businesses in the UK economy comes from STEM related industries. In the next five to 10 years, we'll need an additional two million people moving into STEM careers. As an oil and gas industry, what we do is fantastically cool. So we have a bunch of people who do engineering and science on a rocket scientist level. If we can't reach out and inspire a next generation, then shame on us. And so for an industry, I think we have a, we have a great story. Uh, we don't have to engineer it, we don't have to develop it, we just have to get out and sell it. A lot of what we're trying to do is about early engagement with students. And that's not particularly about joining BP or joining Shell. It's getting people interested in the industry. One thing very practically we need to look at in BP are our gateways and to what extent those requirements that we have are genuine or whether there are other ways that we can look through that. Hello. Um, my question is... A guy from the University of York, who's a mature student, said, what are you doing to attract guys like me who are maybe coming into this, not age 21 out of university, but as a second career? And we can have a different conversation with that audience uh, and I don't know that we're doing that uh, as effectively as an industry as we could do. Careers are no longer linear uh, and people will have multiple careers down multiple avenues during their lifetime. So it's not just one set of skills that's needed anymore, it's a whole collection of employability skills. We need to focus on that. Open a newspaper. I defy you to open any newspaper on any day of the week and not find a story about energy. This changes the world, this moves the world. Why wouldn't the brightest and the best want to come and influence that for the next 50 or 100 years? Thank you.